What's up, everybody? It's your boy, the legend, coming at you from Bush Gardens, Tampa, for a little uh, Cobra's Curse construction update here. The big news, you can see the giant hole right there. I don't know if that's going to be where they have, like, the, the elevator lift kind of thing or what, but there's a, a very, very large footer down there in a big, giant hole. Maybe it'll have to hold some of the mechanisms for the... Uh, the elevator lift or something else. I don't know. I haven't really been following this all that closely. But uh, you can see that that is the biggest thing since I've been here about a month or two ago. You see the series of footers all along the all along the railroad path there. Over here the trees have grown in so you don't really uh, you don't really get a good view of what's going on on the other side of the construction. You get a little bit of an idea over there but not, not all that great. It's really in kind of a difficult spot for construction, uh, for a nerd update kind of thing, because it's in a corner of the park where you really can't get a, too good of a view. But uh, for me, the biggest news would be that hole there, with whatever kind of large foot of their point. All right, let's go see what else we can see from the Cobra's Curse from the rest of the park. Well, we found the best view for the uh, Cobra's Curse construction update, and that is with uh, the part of the patio closed, they've opened up the third level, that used to be the full service dining area, where they opened that up for seating, and they've got these great big old windows, and you can see out and you get a really, really good view of uh, that uh, giant hole I was talking about earlier. There you go, there's that. Again, also, you really see the whole giant construction project over there. A whole bunch more supplies getting ready to load in over there. Lots and lots of what I'm guessing are cinder blocks. Let's go with that. Probably concrete. Big old job box. All sorts of stuff. Also up here you can see how they have uh, completely gutted the old Tut's tomb building. From this shot right there. See nothing really left in there, none of the old theming or anything. But I'm uh, very cool. First of all, I love being up here. You get an amazing view of uh, the savannah and the construction. So anytime you get to come up here, I definitely recommend it. Nice air condition. It's quiet. Really, really cool. And if you're a nerd, great view of the uh, construction. In London. Yeah. If you're not a nerd, we could go over here and have a great view of the savannah, where all the giraffes have moved. But uh, there you go. So we got one more check-in for you over here for the new Cobra's Curse construction. And you can see here there's a giant mound of dirt right there. Some construction equipment over here. Uh, giraffes and ostriches over there. But uh, obviously the big thing from this angle is this giant mound of dirt over here. Going over here you can't see a whole lot from this side. It's sort of the other side of the train tracks is, uh, you know, over there, the back end of the old Tut's tomb building, and then right there, more of that, that giant mound of dirt. One last and final view of the Cobra's Curse construction update. Over here you can see some of the footers that were brought early on that'll be right next to where the train goes, which is on the other side of that wall. You can see some of the more construction equipment and the light rigs and things like that over there. Big mound of dirt over there. And then, uh, yeah, pretty much do it. That'll do it for the Cobra's Curse portion of this video. Let's go check out the rest of the park and see what else is neat. Also, this giraffe seems to be having a hard day. <laughs> he looks like he, unfortunately, has broken his neck. Not a real giraffe. This is a plywood giraffe. Have it a rough day. Let me get another shot. See what I mean from this angle? Giraffe, bad day. Also, since the last time I've been here, they've added a uh, construction wall, walling off the whole old Tut's tomb area, as well as like the little arcade and gift shop that used to be nearby. So uh, there you go, more progress on the Cobra's Curse construction update. Well, something new to me, because I haven't been to Bush Gardens in quite some time, it's the Dragon Fire Grill. They redid the, uh, the whole food court area here. Molly's playing with stuff in the, uh, the show arena in Pantopia. And it's got a whole different, uh, right now it's packed because uh, it's raining outside so all the outdoor attractions are closed. But you got a whole bunch of different areas. You got Market Central here where you get desserts and uh, sandwiches, Italian kitchen, flatbreads and, uh, and pastas. Southwest Cantina which looks pretty good. 
tortilla bowls, loaded nachos, chips and salsa, American Grill, which is a rotisserie stuff, burgers, ribs, and then over there is Asian Walk. They also have a couple of beers, they got like eight beers on draft. A lot of stuff you see other places in the park, but still uh, not a bad selection, especially for a theme park. That is the new Dragonfire Grill. It looks very good, way better than the old one did. But of course, very, very busy right now because it is um, everything's closed time. So over here we're at the old, uh, the old Fritter Castaways Stadium, and uh, it's just been replaced by a big grassy field. I know that right over there they had a giant topiary-like creation for their, uh, their food and wine festival, but uh, now it's just a big old grass field. Which, I mean, it looks nice. It looks like a pleasant part of the park. I mean, nothing important here, but uh, it's kind of interesting that you would tear down an old arena and just replace it with uh, grass. New over here at Bush Gardens, in the, uh, in the entrance area is a, uh, the Zagora Market, which is a Coke freestyle marketplace kind of thing. Uh, it took the place of an old, crappy uh, snack stand as well as where they used to do the belly dancing. Oh, More okay. recently, they've, they've just been using it for uh, a King Julian meet and greets and that kind of thing. But uh, now it's a, a brand new and uh, snazzy snack stand with the Coke Freestyle machines and some popcorns and stuff like that. So uh, a little bit of modernization of the old infrastructure. While the ride itself may be closed, you could uh, still buy your fair share of Gwazi merchandise that hasn't sold yet. And is shockingly uh, not on discount. All the shirts are what, 20 something bucks, Molly? 30, uh, 26. 26 bucks. Which just seems weird. Now, granted, I do own one of these, but still kind of weird. We still have to sign up on the gift shop too. In case you were curious what's going on with Quasi, absolutely nothing. It's just been uh, sitting here since it closed back in February. So uh, station's still intact and all that. It's going to be a Halloween Horror Nights. Uh, no, Hallow Scream House. There we go. Which park am I at? Anyway, that's going on. What's going on with Quasi? Uh, absolutely nothing.